Hi guys, uh, it's Aegis here. So today I'm going to uh, go through the Link Joker deck profile that using Chaos Breaker, uh, which is from Clan Selection Volume 1. And we are having Volume 2 coming out this week. So the next video you will see will be the unboxing of Volume 2. Uh, let's see if we, good luck, if we still uh, see those lines on our cards or not. Uh, I hope not. And see if I can actually pull another AS out, hopefully. Yeah, so, um, target of Link Joker, they, we get Chaos Breaker, um, it got its very very strong skill, but it's, the deck itself is not that impressive in standard, but it's very very impressive in premium. Um, so this deck profile that I'm going to show you, uh, is of course Chaos Breaker focused, and uh, unfortunately you will need to have a normal or even godly hand in order to make it very, uh, very, very playable. If you have a bad hand, sometimes it's a little bit hard to recover. That's something that uh, we have as, as a limit in standard, but uh, we can only work with what we have, right? So let's start with the content of the deck. So starter, uh, anything you like, because we uh, are not using any cards in the deck that uh, requires you to have specific uh, starter and then of course for key for chaos breaker mainly to lock uh, the steel markers when unlock and then uh, when there's a lock card he can gain 10k power uh, on vanguard and ring of circle as long as your opponent has a lock card so it's pretty easy to gain the power and uh, you won't kind of waste uh, to have multiple copies in hand because you're going to simply just put him as a regard to be a 23k attacker um, of course you can still be riding it so that you can soul blast have more souls to soul blast in order to steal more markers but do note that he himself doesn't have a uh, marker symbol so you won't be able to normally get markers from chaos breaker but um, given that he steals markers so i think if you actually give him the marker that will make him too strong but the main issue with uh, chaos breaker is if you are going first when and when you ride your chaos breaker usually uh, you have nothing much to do usually because you uh, won't simply give your opponents a fourth marker because they hopefully and probably won't be going all out on you and having all front row uh, units ready to just hit you hard if they do so you are already in a kind of a bad situation and then you lock one of the card and if you can't lock the other side you, you give them a force marker and that force marker is likely going to that regular circle which will cause you some trouble so um, it's a little bit hard to control but of course it's a control deck so you do need to control your pacing your tempo and don't let your opponents get into the temple so that they can simply just win your game plan off and then uh, this is the second game plan which is uh, great all so this the leader is of course your second third or final ride because he deletes he uh, banished delete a regard and forbidden your opponents to move their units from regard circles uh, so that they can switch they can switch around if they put something at back just to be safe that now they can put it up all those things but mainly his use is to delete and since you're already using a lot of resources to lock their field and make them to use a lot of, a lot of resources to guard then once you get into your cradle they need to give you more resources to guard which hopefully can make them don't have more resources to push you back and then after that you can rewrite into another cradle or go back to chaos breaker to uh, force your opponents to give you more resources and from there you control the game plan you can control control the game flow and hopefully you can win there and uh, just for fun i put one lost storm dragon in uh, at first, I'm running him at like two or three 
mainly for the counter charge. But the problem is I uh, usually don't have a lot of options to bind when I use Nostrum uh, or the situation is already too bad that I don't need him or too good that I don't need him. So he's just see if I need an extra uh, counter charge because I need to actually retire this unit. So he's like coming out and gone and then counter charge. Of course I can uh, buy my opponent's unit but uh, also he does not have any markers so I'm not decided to put too many copies in. And then we are running of course four of the uh, Zachronium. Uh, this is your kind of a winning condition, uh, your most key card in the game instead of uh, Chaos Breaker. Because Chaos Breaker, yes, he is very strong, but he requires you to use a little bit more effort to give your opponent pressure. And this card is the card that you need because he basically creates a lock card and cuts your opponent's deck. So you, your opponent you need to put the top card of the deck to a empty regard circle as a lock card. Uh, and then depending if they put on the front row, of course, they have one less attack. If they put on the back row, trying to create, keep their attack line, then you get 10k power and extra draw from this card. So very, very strong. And his second skill, making your uh, Vanguard to have a extra crit while your opponents on grade 3 or higher Vanguard and they do have a lock card, which is kind of easy because Whenever you play him, you already create that lock card. So, giving your cradle or even your uh, chaos trigger an extra crit is very very helpful and allows you to go a all in force one play because you will be playing quite a lot of force markers if you make the game long and you do want to play force one so that you have more power. And with him, you can get the crit and make your opponents try to guard your vanguard attack as much as possible and use a lot of resources so that your other attacks will simply hit and your opponents cannot build up the lines again. And then, uh, since we are playing Gradle, we are also playing Given. So, Given is here to restand the vanguard uh, in. In the past, we need to find a lot of resources because he needs to send up to 6 cards to drop some from hand and regard circle in order to restand a minus 1 drive for your vanguard. But now, we do have a promo that helps us to reduce the cost so that uh, makes it an easier play. And then entering grid ones, of course, uh, First, we do have our Craven Claw. This is another key to the deck because whenever your boost and attack with this card hits uh, opponent's vanguard, you're going to look at top 5 and search for a Star Vader at your hand. So, with this, you can search for a Grade 2 to have a confirmed Grade 2 ride. You can search for a Chaos Breaker so that you can confirm your first Grade 3 ride or might like a more accurate Grade 3 ride because. Uh, Grado himself uh, can't delete your opponent's vanguard if there's no great free in soul, so you won't want to. You don't actually want to ride him first unless you don't have an option. And Raven Claw is here to basically help you to reduce that chance. Also, uh, his second skill: if your opponent is on uh, great free or higher vanguard, you put this card in soul. Then, of course. Which gives your uh, Chaos Breaker resources to Soul Blast and Steel Markers, and you unlock one of your opponent's uh, lock card and then lock another one. So, if your opponent's like with your uh, little grade 2 here, Sacronium, to put something at the back, but they do have something in front, then you can at least uh, unlock that card and lock the front row so that they can't attack you too many times and you can survive a little bit longer. And of course, since you unlock, you can use your Chaos Breaker skill. 
and then uh, to make your Craven Claw uh, more easier to get to your grade 2, uh, I'm running the Brain Free Searcher so that I do have another option to find my Chaos Breaker first and then try to hit with this and stretch to the grade 2. Then I can have a guarantee, kind of a get more easier uh, riding times and less trouble on Grey Stock. And then next I'm running two of the uh, Jaro. So this is the promo uh, that is out quite recently, which is very helpful uh, given that given requires you to send six cards from hand and regular circle. So what he does is if your opponent's Vanguard is being deleted and uh, you are using card effects to put this unit to the drop, this card comes at free regard. So if you have two, if you're given, you just need to like basically put two of them uh, to the drop zone from regular circle and you fulfill the condition. But even if you have one, one being us three, you just need three more cards. So it's already helped you like save a lot of resources. And with, when this card attacks, he get 2k to become 10k. I don't think that matters too much, mainly is for uh, the resource reduction. And another way to keep the game longer is uh, borrow. So borrow be uh, makes your opponents cannot simply uh, turn cards from face down to face up during the end phase, uh, including a log uh, like release from deletes, uh, counter charge only on end phase but uh, during our standard era v era you unless you're also playing lane joker and you or you're playing messiah the only way that you can unlock is using the order cards and i don't think a lot of people actually run that because it's a great free order that uses up quite a lot of space and unless you are like a mega colony player or you're a nova player or you of course link joker player you probably won't be using that so using this to keep your opponent's uh, lock card remains locked yes you can steal markers but the benefit of having your opponents have less attacks or only vanguard attacks really saves you a lot of resources and once you have more resources, you can give your, your opponents more pressure with like your deleters with them combo uh, to do more locking cards combo, whatever. Then you can push your opponents further and they basically can't do much stuff. And then uh, I'm running two of the dust blade. I think a lot, not a lot of people actually running this card anymore. Um, I did, I did saw some test build using this, but then after that, they I think they took them out. But uh, in my opinion, I think I still need this card, and uh, even though he is kind of boss, but then at least I can get to uh, remove something from the field, and whenever boost attack it, so I can force my opponents to try guard more. So the deck idea is try to make your opponents do more guard thing using a lot more resources while you're limiting their actions so that they uh, can't keep stock of their hands and push you once you're running out because before you run out you already keep pushing them and force them to drop a lot of stuff that's the kind of the game plan and he do have some extra draw power if your vanguard is great for your hire so yeah that's basically the reason why he uh, is here in uh, another card to uh, feed the soul is this treasure trial of nuclear mechanic magnetic resonance uh, also give power extra 10k um, it's kind of weird that your you need your opponents not calling any trigger unit but extra power is extra power and you sometimes when you play this card on field and your opponents will likely confuse it's like uh i kind of got with my trigger or if i do i i 
Well, basically, is you uh, need to guard with trigger or you like to get an extra tanky. It can be go to vanguard, it can be go to going to regards, and that tanky power sometimes matters. So, again, it's another tricky card to make your opponents to guard with more resources because if you put it like uh, behind a regard with a force one marker, then usually they can guard with. Uh, a trigger or so, but now they need to give you two or three cards, and that's what you want. So, uh, engine triggers uh, is a little bit more standard here. So, six crits, six of the draws, uh, four uh, draw PG, and two normal dra draws, and four heals. Yeah, so again, uh, since you do need to keep like your hands running, you need to keep your hand size going, you need to keep the pressure going. So I'm using six draws instead. Uh, I really don't suggest a crit four draw because you probably won't last that long. If you don't have that much resources in hand to guard with, to build up your board, because it's a control deck, so you do need to uh, kind of using a long game plan while pushing your opponent so you can aim the game faster. It's kind of contradicting, but then uh, making sure your opponents to uh, use up their resources faster, meaning you can actually force them to run out of resources faster, and while you take the game longer, they don't have much resources, then they will just need to keep taking your hit, keep taking your hit, and then you will win from there. So that's the game plan. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it for this deck profile, there's uh, like nothing too key about some right options that you must, uh, because the main thing I think I've explained already, is grade 3 you want to ride your uh, Chaos Breaker first and then go into Grado, uh, grade 1 you basically don't want to ride these, uh, just Researcher or Starfader Searcher if you get an attack. And then Grade 2 since you only have like two options, so it doesn't matter which one you write. Uh yeah. So uh that's it for this deck profile. Uh kind of simple and uh, I'm actually happy that I get a chance to play with Gradle again because I did saw other plays with uh like uh, with Messiah. I think that works too, but uh, I actually haven't tested out, but I actually like this one. This one time I play test with a friend while he's using proxy, so I can't actually record, so a bit unfortunate. But then when I actually get to do my stuff, uh, it's really, really fun, and my opponents is basically can't do much stuff, and they just need to give me all the hands to card with, and then after that, uh, after these two, I basically just win from there because my opponents don't have much resources to keep going on and they can only keep taking the hit. Yeah, so uh, feel free to let me know my let me let me know your comments. Uh, I probably will also try to aim for uh, a premium build, but not sure if I can get both premium or standard uh, deck fights going on. Um, because Clan Selection Volume 2 is coming out and I want to put my focus on the card 5 from there uh, which I am hoping to, of course, having the Clan Selection Volume 2 out this week and then the video after that to be starting with the Volume 2 card 5 so yeah, we will see from there again, let me know any comments, any questions you have for this deck um, and then that's it. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.